Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. So what's going on, my brother? What is that, 666? What that mean? Hell Satan. Hell Satan? So you a Satanist? You see what's going on with our people? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 28. Because Satan can profit you anything, my brother. You understand? God is the, per thing, the person that can profit. Did Satan create the earth? Who created the heaven and earth, brother? Satan or the God? Who gives, it, who gives Satan his power? The most High God. So it's a foolish thing for you to worship Satan when God is over him. We come out here, we stopped our whole schedules to come out here to prophesy to you Hispanic brothers, to you black brothers. We got other things we could be doing, but we understand the desperate need of what's going on. We understand the desperate need at times that you guys need this information. Give me that when you call it and read it. The book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Start at verse 4. Verse 4. And he said, Unto me, son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, uh -huh. and speak with my words unto them. So you hear what the Bible has commanded us to do? Read it again. And he said unto me, son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel. So news flash, Hispanic brothers and sisters, you are the house of Israel. That's right. You make up the twelve lost tribes of Israel. That's right. Read. And speak with my words unto them. No, speak with the pastor's words. And speak with my words unto them. No, speak with the pope's words. And speak with my words unto them. No, speak with Catholicism. And speak with my words unto them. So you hear what God said to speak his words. Where are you going to hear the words of the Most High God? Coming out of the Bible. You're not going to get that in your Catholicism church. Your Catholic church. Read. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. Uh -huh. And of a hard language. But to the house of Israel. Read. Not too many people of a strange speech. And of a hard language. Whose words thou cannot understand. Surely I have sent. Verse 7. Verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. So you hear, it's already prophesied that you blacks and Hispanics ain't gonna listen to us when we come out here on the streets. You guys can listen to the prophets of old when they came out here, read. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. Uh -huh. But they will not hearken unto me. Because you won't even listen to God himself. So we know you ain't gonna listen to us. Especially since you think it's the difference between us. The only difference between us is a boat stop. The only difference between us is a skin tone. That's, right. That's the only difference. Bring it out. Read. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. You hear what God said, Hispanic brothers and sisters? God got your number. He said you are hard-headed people. Meaning what? You're not going to listen to the words of God. The creator of the heaven and the earth That's have right. gave these commandments. And you won't even listen to him. Read. Behold. I have made thy face strong against their faces. And that's why we come out here the way we do. Read. And thy forehead strong against their forehead. Come on. As an adamant harder that flint have I made thy forehead. Come on. Fear them not. Uh -huh. Neither be dismayed at their look. Read. Though they may be a rebellious help. So you hear what? God got your number. Now go to Ezekiel 37, verse 1. Because what's going on out here? We coming out here giving you guys pure history classes. Pure understanding of the Bible. That's right. But you guys don't want to hear it. Jesus. You guys walk up and down the street willy nilly. But guess what? We've been commanded by the Most High God, and you brothers and sisters have been marked today. Read. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, and verse 1. Come on. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, uh -huh. and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. 
You hear that? So God was, a, the most high God was on the hand of the prophet Ezekiel. He was anointed by God. Read, read that part again. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Hey, you Mexican, newsflash, you Mexican brothers and sisters, you are that valley of dry bones. You are, hey, brother, right here, my brother, hey, come over and build with us right there with the kufi on. What's your name? What's your nationality? Uh, and behold, there were very many in the open valley. So that's what we doing right now. We causing, he caused us to come around you guys. Read that again. And caused me to be put, and caused me to pass by them round about. Uh -huh. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And it's a lot of y'all standing out here in the open valley. Read. And lo, they were very dry. And y'all have no understanding. You guys don't understand that you are the gods of this earth. That's right. You are the kings and the princesses of this earth. The earth belongs to you, but you don't have that understanding, which makes you dry. Read. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And that's a good question. Read that again. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And that's what we wonder in our mind. Can, you, can these bones live? Because we come out here giving you the pure understanding of God's words. Bring it but you guys walking back and forth like it's nothing. So that's the question we ask ourselves. Can these bones live? Do y'all listen? Can y'all comprehend the words that are coming out of the Bible? Read. And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Only the most high God can wake you blacks and Hispanics up. Right. Because we coming out here giving you the understanding and the solutions to the problems that's going on in our community. See? But you don't want to hear it. It's going to take the spirit of God to enter into each one of y'all. Then you can might wake up. That's Read right. it again. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? Come on. And I answered, oh Lord, thou knowest. Come on. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. And since it don't look like y'all listening, but God commanded us to prophesy anyway. So we gonna come out here and tell you what you're doing wrong according to the Bible. We gonna come out here and tell you how to get your land back according to the Bible. That's right. We gonna come out here and tell you and correct you and lift you up Bring according to the Bible. Out. Because you blacks and Hispanics are the gods of the universe. That's right. Which one of y'all gonna stand up for God and take back the land that belong to y'all? Huh? Read. Oh ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto me, bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter unto you. And God's going to put his spirit in some of y'all one day. Whichever you men are men enough to stand up, God said he's going to put breath in you. Some of y'all tired of this condition that y'all going in. All of y'all ain't okay with this. Some of y'all actually are tired. And that's what we out here for. We out here to wake up you Hispanic brothers who tired of the turmoil. Who tired of the Hispanic on Hispanic crime? That's right. Against one another, the gang banging, the drug dealing, the robbing, okay? The false religions. God is gonna put his spirit in some of you brothers and sisters. And that's what we come out here to reach. Now hold that. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Because we come out here, we know that's a major problem in the Hispanic community. You guys love to worship idols. You love Mother Mary and post a, now tell me I'm lying. Y'all love the woman mother that y'all call Mother Mary. She's a statue, y'all post her and put her in your yards. All right, hey my brother, come over here and listen to, come over here and let me show you something. Which one of y'all gonna stand up and rise up for your people, huh? Who tired of being at a low estate? You know, hey, you know something about Hispanics, y'all work the hardest out of all the nations of the earth and get paid the lowest. That y'all don't, y'all work for nothing. But y'all do some of the best work on the earth and don't get paid jack for it. Why? Who's, who's okay with that? I'm not. Right. You should neither. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other God but verse 1. Verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, you are in the land of Egypt. Ancient Egypt with Pharaoh, that was your people. You built the pyramids over there. But what happened? Moses came and freed y'all from that land historically, in history. But what happened today? Today you still are the same people, but you're rebellious and you don't want to listen. That's but we right. gonna come out here anyway and show you. Read. Verse three. Thou shalt have no other gods before 
before me. Read it again. Thou shall have no other gods before me. So, how do the Hispanic men have other gods before the Most High God? Y'all worship something called Mother Mary. I know all of y'all know about the Mother Mary. Nowhere in the Bible God said worship that. Nowhere in the Bible God said make statues, monuments, bow down to it, candles, different things of that nature. Y'all are heavy into idolatry. That's right. You guys worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Okay? God said don't have no other gods before him. Why y'all worshiping Mother Mary? Why y'all worship the Pope? Why y'all in Catholicism? Those are ways how you are putting images and gods before the Most High God, the one true creator. Read it again. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Come on. Thou shalt not make it to thee any graven image. Uh-oh. Read that again. Thou shalt not make it to thee any graven image. So what is a graven image? The graven image going back to Mother Mary. The, the graven images are going back into all those images that y'all like to have in your front yard. The rosaries, okay, the candles you guys set up. You know what's crazy? God got y'all number. All the way in ancient history, your forefathers did the same thing. When you guys was kings on the earth, they had idols and they was worshiping. So likewise today, y'all the same people still putting gods above the one true creator. When are y'all gonna wake up and understand they have profit to nothing? Read. Thou shalt not make it to thee any graven image Come on. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. So not the likeness of anything that is in the heaven above. Y'all love to worship these images. You guys love to set up stones in your yards and worship them. Okay, read. Or that is in the earth beneath. Come on. Or that is in the water underneath. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. So you wonder why you guys are last high first fire? You wonder why you guys work hard and get pennies on a dollar? You wonder why you guys suffer from these atrocities that you go through? Your neighborhoods is not the way it's supposed to be. Bring it out. You wonder why? Because you continue to worship graven images. That's right. You continue to what? Hate one another. Right. You guys continue to break God commandments. That's why you suffer. Read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. So you hear what God is telling you? He's telling you to put away the images of Mother Mary. Put away the images of the popes. Come out of the Catholic Church. A Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, and have profit to nothing. You guys been beat, forced, raped to worship the damn Catholic Church. That's why you go to the Catholic Church. It was forced upon your ancestors. Bring it out. That's why you do it today. Right. And I challenge anybody out here different. Who don't agree? Which one of y'all don't agree with what I'm saying? Step forth right now. Come right now and prove it. Because what we because what we coming out right now is out of the Bible. Read it again. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I the Lord thy God am a jealous God. You hear what God said? He said he's jealous. And because you put Mother Mary above him, because you put Catholicism above him, because you put the Pope above God, he said, guess what? I'm going to take your nationality. I'm going to take your heritage. I'm going to force you into worshiping other idols. Okay? Since you don't want to listen. I gave you the earth. But since you don't want to listen, there you go. So what's going on, my brother? What is that? 666? What that mean? Hell Satan. Hell Satan? So you a Satanist. You see what's going on with our people? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 28. Because Satan can profit you anything, my brother. You understand? God is the, per thing, the person that can profit. Did Satan create the earth? Who created the heaven and earth, brother? Satan or the God? Who gives, it, who gives Satan his power? The most High God. So it's a foolish thing for you to worship Satan when God is over him. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 28. Come on. The Lord shall smite thee with madness Read. and blindness and astonishment of heart. So it's, the Lord said he's going to smite two Hispanic brothers and sisters with madness. Why? Because you put idols above the one true creator. You put Mother Mary over God. You put Catholicism over God. One Hispanic brother just came up. He said, hell Satan. 
meaning he worshiped the devil. That is madness. When are you brothers and sisters gonna wake up and come back to your nationality, come back to your heritage, and take over this earth like God commanded you to do? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!